Okay, folks, there it is. That is a 2022 Montana Legacy 3971RD. I'm going to go ahead and let you take a look at the, uh, the pass-through storage where there is a solar charge controller and an inverter. You can see quite a few things down here. You can see that it is ducted down here. Keep everything warm, including your plumbing. That's the way these are designed. It's got PEX plumbing, like household plumbing. There's an indoor, outdoor road vac. It, uh, there's a, another one inside. It's part of the same system. But you can also see this uh, vapor barrier that's installed here uh, in the double welded aluminum. It's high quality. Uh, that's how high-end RVs are built and this is definitely it's the number one selling luxury fifth wheel for 19 years straight So let's go ahead and walk around Take another look at the outside That's the other side that big doors of pass-through storage. It's got the frameless windows there They open outward from the bottom If it's uh, lightly raining you still have them open They look nice here in the back on this one there is a tray it's a storage tray i think it holds up to 800 pounds it slides out so it'll save your back you can get to this back section of it and then all these doors open on each side there's storage you can see all the other additional storage in here but uh, this tray is is really nice i'm gonna slide it in let me see here we go so that's that's when it's all the way in right there so that is a nice storage tray and then this has got the slam latch very solid door so let's go ahead on the inside now this is a legacy so it's going to have that uh, rear camera it's going to have disc brakes it's going to have side cameras it's got the in command system several different things like that and uh, there it is. It's got the four season living. It means it's well insulated, sealed underbelly, ducted down there. It's got the Solar Flex 200. That's that solar system. 200 watt solar panel on the roof and uh, the solar charge controller. It's an inverter in there also. So there are seven inverted plugs. That means you could run the refrigerator plus six other plugs directly from using the solar power. So there's no battery in this one. You see the lights are on. It's a very nice, very well uh, appointed, nice interior. Another thing we'll notice on these 2022s, this lip down here is flush when you put the slide out. There's no, there's no lip. It's just, uh, it's, uh, it's just something you don't see. A lot of uh, RVs, there'll be like a little ledge here that you can stub your toe on. And customers complain about that. So Keystone listened, and the engineers came up with a, uh, a better design. Stainless steel sink. That's a good size sink in a, a residential faucet. So this one's called the RD. It's, I guess, rear den. We'll go back to the kitchen area in a second. But it's got these theater seats right here that recline. So I'm going to sit down. This is very comfortable. A little bright right there. You can see the, uh, this is a JBL sound system right there. That is the subwoofer for it. So you have stereo speakers and a subwoofer. And where that window is right there is the Televator TV. It comes up just like on Star Trek. You are the captain of this area here. You've got a panoramic view. If there's any Klingons. Or a very nice landscape outside whatever's outside you can see it and that's luxury to me pure luxury sitting here looking at the woods the lake mountains the desert the cactus whatever it is uh, it's gonna be beautiful and you will be here with this very quiet ducted AC system uh, it's a big improvement for uh, 2022 on the Keystone Montana Similar to the Whisper Quiet system they were using in some of their other models, but even better. It's a better design without going through all that. It's just quieter when you're watching TV or if you don't want that loud uh, RV air conditioner sound. So I'm sitting in a tr this sofa just like that one. Uh, it's it, Both of these fold out. There's two of these, one on each slide out. 
and these make into I believe it's a queen size bed it's a very good size bed so you've got this theater seat you have the uh, sofa trifold sofa there and then directly across from it trying not to move the camera too much you have one so this is really essentially can be used as a uh, living area but it's also a sleeping area for your friends and family if you've got guests uh, you could accommodate four adults here with no problem and there's some storage in those cabinets there storage on each side of the window so you could put some things in there and it's got these blackout privacy shades with these uh, balances that will completely block out the light and also give you privacy from anybody walking by. They can't just see in your coach. Just a little bit more comfortable. If it's night, you're hanging out, enjoying yourself. You know you've got complete privacy. There is a curtain right there, so you can kind of trans. You know, uh, you can convert this into a bedroom. You see this beautiful accent lighting. It's one of the nice things about this solar power. You can get to see the lighting in here under counter lighting and then they've got that LED lighting. It's all LED lighting. There's some accent lighting here. It looks very nice on this island. Nice looking cooktop with the big oven. This that isn't just this it's got room to put a a, uh, a bird in there. Whatever it is you want to cook, bake some bread if you could do that in an RV oven. You could do it in this one. I know it's a little bit tricky baking bread. And here is your convection microwave. If you don't feel like turning on the oven, you can brown things in your microwave on this one. So this has got it all. Uh, there's storage here. And then it's, this one has uh, some storage over here by this nook where you can put a coffee pot. And there's a place to plug it in right there. So here it is. There's a drawer and a cabinet below there. So you've got place to keep things. And this one also is part of the uh, uh, legacy package. It has a tire monitoring system, tire pressure monitoring system. Look at those lights came on in here in the closet, in the uh, pantry. That is a deep pantry. Uh, this is like arm's length, and I got pretty long arms, and I'm having to reach in there. So there's uh, three very good sized shelves. Uh, that uh, you can use for pantry space. It is a pantry. So I'm gonna, and then this slide out over here is where there's two more chairs there in the closet right now in the washer dryer area. Uh, it, you can see this is a panoramic view here also. This thing is just loaded with views. Sitting here drinking a cup of coffee, getting a look at what's going on outside, spying on your neighbors, looking at the uh, landscape. It's just a nice way to wake up and have a nice view. If you're working, say you're working in your RV living full time maybe working or when you travel you like to take care of business also and still enjoy the rv lifestyle you can sit right here in this uh, uh at this table that has a leaf on it. it'll come out farther but you can sit here enjoy a beautiful view and keep your customers happy keep them from getting upset we don't want anybody to get upset all right so let's take another view here you can see this kitchen Right, and uh, see all the lights up there now inside this little uh, cabinet well one thing you'll notice on all, all these doors they have these uh, hidden residential hinges you can check the price of something like that at uh, Lowe's and uh, this is your in-command system right now there's the battery's not hooked up it's just on solar but you can uh, uh, turn the lights on you can uh, uh, put the slides in and out from right here. You can uh, make adjustments to your HVAC, the air conditioning and heating in each of the three different zones. And you can do all that right here from this touch screen, but also you can download an app, the In Command app. So if you want to do that and see what it's like, you can check it out firsthand. Just go to your app store and download the In Command. It's uh, in and then command it, the app and it's got a, a demo mode and you can see exactly what it is for yourself if you're interested there is a little as you walk in the door there's a place to hang up uh, coats and keys and then you can just put your little friend up here your nine millimeter whatever it is you carry around if that's your inclination 
And this uh, wash basin here is a porcelain bowl. I like the ergonomics of this because you can just wash your face right here with that and you can be directly over. You don't have to lean over so far and you're not splashing water everywhere. Again, toilet, very well designed uh, where it's got plenty of leg room around it. A shower that you can sit down in. It will accommodate. I'm going to go ahead and stand in here so you can. Yeah, I'm looking up from right here. And this, I imagine you could be 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six and still be okay in here. There is the shower head, but uh, nice shower. There is the medicine cabinet. Very stylish place to hang a towel. You've got a, a duct in here. Look at that. you got a speaker. There's a zone. You can put the music. You can rock out while you're taking a shower. Look at that fan. That is a nice uh, fan. I don't know what brand it is, but it is not a cheap uh, exhaust fan. That'll get the job done. And look at this huge storage back in here it's is wider than the opening so you could put some paper towels and well you probably would have to put some towels and maybe some sheets and different things like that in there okay here in the bedroom you have a slide out for the king size bed and you have a uh, uh, one ten and a USB outlet on each side with a shelf so you can uh, put your CPAP machine. There is the big front closet. And this is where the washer and dryer would go right here. Those are the extra chairs there. Uh, this one has a framed in TV in the bedroom as well as a chest of drawers. They call this a pocket door, sliding door. So appreciate you taking a look at this beautiful RV on my video. And I will uh, be happy to help you. Here's my contact information. And I'm Duke. Just send me a text. Send me a, uh, or call me the old-fashioned way. Just dial up my number. I will be happy to speak to you and uh, walk you through the process. And thank you for again for visiting my uh, channel here. If you hit the like button, I appreciate it.